Oh, strange and charmed, oh, strange and charmed, 25 days of love, miss. Hello, my strange and charmed ones. Welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 15. Um, Mike and I, as you can see, are back from vacation now. I guess you could have told because I put up my 2015 planner set up yesterday as well. Um, but today I've got another video for you that's going to be like a Vlogmas planner related hybrid um, because it was a little bit difficult for me to put up two videos yesterday, uh, mostly because I was feeling a ton of jet lag and motion sickness and vertigo. <laughs> because traveling by plane is not a very good method of travel for me apparently because apparently it makes me sick. Um, but uh, because I had a rough day yesterday, I was like, you know what, let's go easier today. Let's do one video, make this a Vlogmas as well because I do think today's topic could be easily be a Vlogmas video. It's not a big deal. And basically what I'm gonna be talking about today is how to make the DIY file folder divider for an A5. So this is what I'm gonna show you guys how to make today. If you guys are familiar, I already made a video earlier this year on how to make a two pocket file folder divider for a personal size file facts. And a lot of you guys uh, wanted to know how to do an A5. Um, so I sat down and figured out how to do the A5 version. I figured that the variation wouldn't be too much different from my personal size, and it, it really wasn't. Um, but it did have its own little unique challenges to overcome. But I did, uh, I did create an A5 size version using a very similar method as I did with the personal size. So if you have been waiting to see how to make an A5 version of that two pocket file folder divider, Stay tuned because that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this Vlogmas video. Okay, you guys, so this is essentially um, the folder I'm going to teach you guys how to make today. This is an A5 size double pocket folder, as you can see. And just like my personal size double pocket folder, it does have um, the cutouts for the hole punches on the side with the little notches so that you can remove the file um, in and out of your planner very securely. And it closes in on itself um, inside the planner so that everything kind of remains very secure within your planner. So if you have an A5 and would like to see the A5 version, this is what it's going to look like. And I'm gonna make a nicer version right now for all of you with this target folder. Okay, so for this project, we're gonna need a few things. Number one, you're gonna need an A5 sized divider. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as my um, A5 divider because I've already made this based off of an A5 divider. So I'll just be making one that's exactly this size. But if you have a divider in your A5 um, or a um, something that is A5 size, um, that would be the best thing to use. Something that's maybe a little bit bigger than A5 so that you can kind of get a little bit of room in for the punches and still have a full sized folder inside. So that's the first thing you need. Obviously you're gonna need a file folder of your choice. Like I said, this one is from Target Dollar Bins. Earlier this year, it just got this nice polka dot print on it and then it's just plain white inside. You're also gonna need transparent tape, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a paper trimmer, and a six hole punch. And one more thing, you're also gonna need a pencil to make the marks. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do with this in order to make my planner is just go ahead and remove the tab off of this file folder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this inside of my paper trimmer, line it up, and just cut off that little tab because I don't want the tab um, on this folder. Great, so now we have a folder, no tab, and it's the same size the whole way around, which is what I really like about the Target folder specifically. But if you don't have a folder that is the same size on both sides, like there's no dip in it, don't worry about it because you can still use it. Okay, so the next thing you've gotta do is line up your A5 folder um, against the folder that you're going to be cutting. Just mark off um, where the edges are. The side and the bottom. As you've noticed, I'm actually lining this up against the closed side because I want to kind of keep as much of this folder intact as I can um, so that there's less things for me to have to do. So by cutting into the side, you know, leaving this open enclosure side 
together, I'm actually able to save myself a few steps in creating the folder. Once you've got your marks on the side and on the bottom, the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and open this up and we're going to fold the bottom part of this up into the folder and stop at where your line is where you drew the outline of the divider. And then just go ahead with your hands and just, you know, flatten this out. So we've got the bottom is now folded in on itself. And then we're going to go ahead and just close it back on itself. And again, make sure that you smooth it down so that there's no like air bubbles in the design. Next, all I'm going to do is go ahead and along the line that I had made for myself, I'm just going to go ahead and trim the paper. Okay, perfect. And just pull off any little excess little paper strings that um, are on the edge. So, so far, this is what our planner insert looks like, our divider looks like. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and cut in a little notch at the bottom of the folder, like I have in my example. Um, this will just give us a little bit more room to breathe when you're filling your um, divider pocket with papers so that everything is not as tight. So, just going down here, I'm just going to literally eyeball uh, just a random place on the bottom folder where I would like to have um, the notch begin. We just need to open this up um, so that it's flat. Take your X-Acto knife and a straight edge. I'm actually just going to use this as a straight edge, but if you need a ruler or whatnot, um, that would be a good idea as well. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating an angle from my random point that I've marked into my folder bottom down to the point where the folder actually folds and meets with the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, so as you can see here, I just have a little bit of a lip. What I'm going to do with that lip is simply fold it over and then use it as a guide for cutting the other side. And as you can see, now I have a little notch at the bottom of this folder. Okay, so we're gonna flip this back in and back around. And now you can see there's a nice notch in the folder. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and tape up this open edge on each side. So I'm just going to use some clear tape for that. Just kind of eyeball the right amount. Lay my tape down and smooth it over on the other side very nicely. So now it is closed on both sides. So we've got a nice pocket here that actually, as you can see, do you see how it widens up? That's because we created that notch there. If this was still tight, we wouldn't get so much space here in the folder, uh, which is why that notch is very important, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put this in the six hole punch and actually punch the holes into it. Now I have an adjustable six hole punch, so I just have to make sure that I'm set to my A5 size, which is the largest size, which I am. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and insert. Okay, so I've reached a little bit of a dilemma, but don't worry, I have a solution for it. Um, when I was making this example file, I actually was able to use my six hole punch because the paper is a little bit thinner. Since this is a coated paper, I'm not able to get my six hole, this paper into the six hole punch. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and grab my single hole punch and we will take it from there. Okay, so you see I've got my single hole punch now, so I am ready to go. So what we're end up gonna do with this is I'm actually going to use this as an example of where to put the holes for my divider. So I'm just gonna line this one up with it, take my pencil, and then just fill in the circles a little bit, just roughly, just so I know where to punch. Okay, great. Now all I've gotta do now is just go ahead and punch. Okay, that was good. So the paper was actually thin enough for me to actually punch through both sides at once with the hole punch. Um, I just couldn't get it to slide physically under 
my adjustable hole punch. So as you can see now we have all of my holes are punched on this. And then the last little thing that I like to do is go in and actually cut little tick marks that make this folder actually removable without you having to open the rings. So I just kind of cut a little triangle into each hole. So I think you can see that right there. There's like a little triangle. The point of the triangle goes into the hole, okay? So I'm just going to do that for the rest of them. Okay, you guys, and as you can see, all my little tick marks are in the holes. And now let me go grab an A5 to show you guys how to put this in and remove it. Okay, so here is my A5 Floral Pink Original File Fax that I actually use as a 43 folder system. So there are a bunch of folders already in this planner. Um, but let me just go ahead and open it up to the center um, so I can give you guys an example of how you put this in and take it out. So obviously you wanna make sure you're going the right direction. I'm a little bit backwards right here. Um, but all you're gonna do with this is just pop it into your planner via the ticks. And as you can see, this makes a perfect folder. So if you want to, when you are you know, going through your planner, you can open it up and you've got your two folders this way. And you also have your two folders coming out this way. So that's what I love about this divider is that it is a folder with actually, it actually has two folders. Um, so this can act as a divider in and of itself. Um, or you can just use it as a file folder, or you can also use it as like a dashboard. Wherever you put it in your planner, it will open up both ways, and it's very easy to remove, and it'll actually store quite a bit of little goodies in there for you. Um, so yeah, that is how you make the A5 double-sided file folder. Okay, you guys, so wasn't that simple? Like I said, it's very close to the original DIY for the personal size file folder divider, but there was its own little challenge um, in the fact that instead of folding over the file onto itself to create the pocket, um, I actually folded it under um, itself, which, I mean, either way, it's over on itself. But um, instead of using from the sides, I used from the bottom. And so the actual pocket itself is not the exact same shape as in the personal size, but um, you guys have all about efficiency. And so I just wanted to use one file folder to get this done. Um, and we were able to achieve it, and I think that this is a very functional pocket. I've actually been using my sample one that I created a little bit just to like test it out, and it works fine, just the same as the personal size does. So if you've got an A5 file fax that you need an extra folder for, feel free to take this um, DIY and put it into your own planners. Of course, if you do, I would love to see them. You guys, seriously, I've been collecting the photos that you guys tag me in. Um, so make sure to tag me on Instagram or on Twitter at Miss Trenchcoat um, so I can see those pictures. And if you guys would do one better, if you would formally tag me in the photo, um, you know how like you can tap on the photo and you can add someone as though you've got like a group picture and you're tagging everyone in the photo? If you could do that and tag me, that would be even better because um, when you guys just leave me in a comment, like say at Miss Trenchcoat in a comment, I only have so much time to see that. Um, so if I am not, you know, with my phone, you know, 24 seven that day, I may miss seeing it in my feed and then miss seeing your picture. So if any of you guys have tagged me in a photo and then have not seen me like comment or like your photo, um, for any DIYs of mine that you have done, try adding me, tagging me physically to the photo. You can do it after the fact. That way it's always in my feed as well. So when people come to my feed and look to see the pictures I'm tagged in, they see your beautiful DIY creations as well. So I would love it if you guys could do that. It would mean so much to me. And I have been retweeting um, and I guess re-Instagramming the photos that you guys send me. Um, so I really love seeing what you guys do with my DIYs. I'm so happy to help, you know, give you guys these sorts of patterns to create, you know, your own things with household items that you probably already have if you are a stationary addict like me. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, this will be the end of Vlogmas Day 15. It's just going to be a low-key day for me um, because uh, ever since we returned from Las Vegas, I've been very motion sick, so I'm probably going to head right back to bed <laughs> after filming this video, um, but Feel free, again, to send me a tweet or an Instagram with any pictures with my folders or even um, 
any of my DIYs, really, not just the folders. And I absolutely love you guys when I actually see, like, you guys take pictures of you watching my videos at home, like, with your iPad or your computer and, like, your planner sitting out in front of you. I think that's so cute. So if you guys have any of those, if you're watching this and you can just snap a photo of yourself watching or just, like, you know, your screen watching my videos, I would love it. Again, tag me. I'm, I love seeing you guys watching and interacting with my content. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16. Bye bye Oh, strange and charmed, oh, strange and charmed, 25 days of Vlogmas. Hello, my strange and charmed ones. Welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 15. Um, Mike and I, as you can see, are back from vacation now. I guess you could have told because I put up my 2015 planner set up yesterday as well. Um, but today I've got another video for you that's going to be like a Vlogmas planner related hybrid um, because it was a little bit difficult for me to put up two videos yesterday, uh, mostly because I was feeling a ton of jet lag and motion sickness and vertigo. <laughs> because traveling by plane is not 